was one of the insiders. I can tell you, I was I was uh, training and uh, seeing a uh, Flex Wheeler, Paul Dillat, uh, Sean, everybody else. 1993, um, everybody thought they have a chance. And six weeks out, those pictures. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that, that was like, yeah. I, I remember like yesterday, it was a shocker when uh, when people saw Dorian in these pictures. And there was no Photoshop back in the day. Like now you would suspect. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. A, but back then nobody had a Photoshop. I mean, uh, Dorian won Mr. Olympia. 1993, six weeks before the show. <laughs> yeah, he did. He when did. Was, yeah, that's, that's the truth. Because what, what, Milos, he was like 270 in those pictures. And did, do you think he could have stepped on stage like that? Yes. You know, uh, I, I can tell you this. I, I'm sure that Dorian would uh, uh, tell you that also. Well, uh, he's perfectionist, so he wanted to go for this crazy conditioning. And, and I've seen this with like Nasser El Sambari. I tell you, 1994, he came to uh, San Diego. 1995, we started training together, mm -hmm. and uh, I gave him a certain protocol, and he just blew up to like 295, and he was at this 295, pretty much ready to step on the stage. Oh. He would be, he would be in a better condition than uh, anybody at the Olympia last year. Uh, let me put it that way, showing up like that. But wow. then you know, you dehydrate and all, and then he came down to like 270 something, like. Oh, is, that, uh, is that all? Pounds. Is that all? <laughs> is that all? Two yeah, seconds. So <laughs> yeah, even now there was uh, recently somebody po posted pictures of Dorian like so many weeks out, like two, three days ago, yeah. and then at the day of the show, and when you look at him, six weeks out, he was in great condition. Yeah. You know, uh, Dorian had that uh, about him. He would, when he would turn around, you can see every fiber upon fiber. I mean, this is really super impressive. Mm. I. I uh, you know, might not uh, like his physique uh, the best. I, I think that I, I like shapes of uh, uh, Kevin Leroney, Flex Wheeler, Charles Claremont, mm -hmm. you know, many other guys that I would give them aesthetics over Dorian. But Dorian didn't have a weakness in any mandatory pose, and he would come the biggest and, and uh, that's, driest. That's true, because I think the thing with Dorian, his physique looked its best in all the compulsory poses. You'd see him in a lineup and you think, well, he's he's not really standing out. But then when he would hit the side tricep or the front lat spread, his physique, like Flex Wheeler would look good in the aesthetic poses, but they're not judged at the prejudging. Yeah, yes. No, you know, the, the thing is, I said many times that, and people think that maybe I criticize or something. No, I'm just like analyst like you are and a bodybuilding fan. So do I have utmost respect for Dorian? Of course, you know, let, let's put it this way. He won, not just any Olympias. He was winning in the 1990s, hardest era of bodybuilding, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not just even yeah. winning. He pretty much uh, uh, dominated because it was never really like, oh, okay. 1994, yeah, the, he wasn't really in top condition. This is after he tore his uh, biceps, that was questionable. But uh, uh, then, uh, here's another interesting thing, and you, you guys are Brits, so maybe you're not going to like it, but <laughs> let's analyze body part by body part. Mm -hmm. Did uh, did he has a uh, had the best arms in the world? Hell no. Mm -hmm. Best shoulders? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Chest? No. Legs? No. Eh? No. <laughs> you know, yeah, so he, I... he had the greatest back, and he had a uh, phenomenal calves. Mm -hmm. Okay, but mm -hmm. he came conditioned, not just conditioned. He would uh, come in superb condition, and every mandatory pose, uh, he pulled it off to look like wow, yeah. this is hard to beat. 